Hi guys, this is Tanesh Singh Hane. Welcome to Programming Knowledge. Today I will be showing how to make your own neural net using uh, PyTorch. Okay. So let me just get started. So, okay. So let's begin so i'll just import some of the libraries now data data sets i'm importing so that i can download the mnist data set and functional, functional browser. okay yeah mm, so that works okay so let me download the training data set from data datasets dot mnist okay so i'll just give the train equals to true this is the training data set download equals to true okay so transform i'll just specify a transform dot compose Okay, so this will be the transform dot to tensor. Okay. Uh, okay, now what will that do is download your MNIST dataset. Okay, this is a very popular dataset. You can Google that, uh, Google it also. Okay, so it will download the training part. Okay and the uh, with the with the labels and all and it will download it and then transform it to a tensor okay so transforms okay cool now let us just do that again for okay now we have downloaded our data set it must be showing in your mm, directory because we have downloaded it so now let's just make it load our data set data loader now what does this do is packs our data into batches so I will specify the batch size, uh, let's say 10, but if you're working on a big systems, you can obviously use 64 or 128 as it fits. Okay. Now we'll do that for test, test, batch size 10. Okay that works now let's make our neural net okay. class net and then dot module this is just in making inherent to this module okay now in it now super dot dot in it okay now let me define the layers so fully connected fc fc means a fully connected layer i will add linear layer so now if uh, something about the mnist data set that each there is there are images of handwritten uh, 
images so all of them are 28 by 28 okay so we got 28 by 28 values of black and white values so each uh, pixel has a value between 0 to 255 so 256 values and 28 cross 28 okay so we will send them as a single entry okay now it will converge to a 64 node layer okay now next fully connected layer 2 would be our 64 to 64 now third layer i'm adding just another layer 64 cross 64 and a final layer fourth layer final layer now it will give me 10 uh, outputs so basically all are of digits 0 to 9 so it will give me 10 outputs okay next i will define define the forward propagation okay we imported the all the functional as f so all the functions so from that i will use the relu function as the activation function and pass in the fully connected layer x okay so i'll just do that four times fc2 fc3 fc4 so in the output layer i don't need uh, this so yeah so this makes my forward layer and i'll return my soft max value now i use the soft max to get the probabilistic values okay and dimensions equals to one so i need only a single dimension cool this works fine now let's make an object of that class and i'll just print okay so yes so i made the net so yeah so i get 784 input features out of 64 so then two layers 64 by 64 and then 64 to 10 outputs okay simple now let's import torch dot optim as optimizer and define the loss function now uh, i'll use the cross entropy loss okay you can use any any functions as you like so yeah here it is So cross entropy convolution So here it is cross entropy loss you can read about it okay as well as others so you can use uh, whichever gives you better results 